Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 422. Effects of stroke. What are all the areas of lesion if the stroke occurred at the level of middle cerebral artery? The areas of lesion would be the motor cortex and that would have an effect on the upper limb and the face the sensory cortex which would also have an effect on the upper limb and face and the temporal lobe which can lead to Wernicke's area being affected as well as the frontal lobe and that can lead to Broca's area being affected. What is a symptom that can occur due to motor cortex being affected in a stroke at the level of the middle cerebral artery? Due to the effects on the motor cortex this would lead to a contralateral paralysis of the upper limb and face. What is a symptom that can arise due to sensory cortex being affected due to a stroke at the level of the middle cerebral artery? Due to the sensory cortex being affected in this, there would be a contralateral loss of sensation in the upper limb and face. In what situation would aphasias happen in a middle cerebral artery stroke? Aphasias can occur if the lesion affects the dominant, which is usually the left hemisphere. What happens in a middle cerebral artery stroke that affects the non-dominant side? In a middle cerebral artery stroke that affects the non-dominant side, which is usually the right side, this can cause hemi neglect. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.